Okay, so this is the divider set that I made for the um, Wunderlich Elephant sports, back, sports tank bag um, just a little while ago. It serves a purpose, it was temporary, but it did the job, give me some uh, isolation between items here, bigger items, uh, visor wipe, telephone, etc spectacles um, and a couple of little cards that I keep, pen etc, I kept in there. Without these in the way there's still plenty of space for a tool roll on the outside of here or something on here. It's, you make whatever you wanted to make but um, it, the basicness of it played havoc with my OCD. Um, so basically I want to make something that you'll find in a camera bag or a fishing bag or something that should be in the, the light of the quality of the Wonderlick or whatever, why they don't isolate it or make dividers for their own tank bag, I don't know. So, um, this is the first one I've made. This is the one that will be the one that fits across the bag. It's um, four ounce nylon on the outside. There's quarter inch high density foam on the inside and a sandwich with um, cardboard inside of that just to give it a bit of um, rigidity but not too much velcro 20 mil velcro or hook and loop as they all call it now on both ends so that will fit pretty much in between them it's a little bit wider than the original so uh, because I've decided I want a bit more space but not too much so that'll fit there so basically that's it so we'll take the first piece since I've already done this one, a piece of one and a half mil card I bought off eBay, and then I realised that you could actually use a cereal box since I've got plenty of them every week. So that piece, and say just a, a brief drawing around there, I'm going to take and make two of these. So we'll go from there. So two of them. The foam that I've bought, so it comes in a piece, roughly that big, did have a corner in it as well. So I'll take that and basically we're just going to sandwich it, so I'll just do that around there. Could just make life easy. Make two pieces, staple them or tack them onto there however you wish and uh, and then wrap it in that in the nylon but I like the idea of having that rounded top uh, for no reason whatsoever so that's what we'll do there so okay so this is the piece that we had earlier uh, cut a piece of foam which I've marked up to fit Obviously, not exactly rocket science, but that's basically going to fit over there. I also want the rounded edge to follow this. So I'm going to cut a little couple of pieces out of the side there. So back to the true blue pizza thing. There's one that we've made. So I've used a stapler, cheap and cheerful, but it's an easy way of holding it all together there. And then I pushed that down, stapled it, and the two pieces that stuck out. I then cut with the scissors, so it's not exactly perfect there, but once that's wrapped in nylon and stitched in, then 
Only we'll be the only people who ever know about that. So I'll leave that there for now. Next piece is to uh, is to get the nylon, four inch, four ounce nylon that I've bought again off eBay. Um, I'll put a link on that as well. But it's pretty much it'll be the same thing. So we'll just stick it on, and uh, cut it, pin it, sew it. Sewing machine that I bought for the job because. I couldn't bear to uh, just use hand stitches, it would uh, not suit me. Um, so that became a project as well. £20 off an old lady and then a little bit of hammer and an oil because it was sea solid, but keeps me occupied. Okay, so here we have a piece of nylon cut and the prepared board. Basically, Select your position for that, this is just rough at the minute because what we're going to do now is just basically meet these two ends, the iron will fit over that. Run your stitch along this end and one other end, whichever one, doesn't matter. That will create your pocket for this board. And then, oh, once you've done that, turn your pocket inside out or right way around. Stitching will be hidden, whatever you, whichever method you've used. And then we can put this back in and close the other end off. Okay, so here's the dangerous bit. I hate this, it's petrifying. Okay, so here we have the finished items. This is going to be a piece that goes across the bag, and these are the two sides. Um, they'll fit this side and this side. I hope. What I did notice when I was messing about with them was that the Velcro, <coughs> the loop side, which is on the actual dividers doesn't get the best of bonds at the minute maybe I don't intend to keep taking these off and putting them back in again but still I'd like them to stay on so uh, as I was using the machine I ran some stitches through the the loop as well so I think I can't do that with the uh, the velcro the other side of it because obviously I can't do the machine on there so now see how we go on fitting it into this so Something that I did notice in this, uh, after I've made the other dividers, is that for some reason, although there's no pockets in here, this front piece is uh, is velcroed in for, for whatever reason, I don't know. So I also have some material ordered, some fine mesh, which I'm going to make a patch there, so I can drop in the phone or any other items in there. It's just a... Uh, Make a bit of use of that space there. There. So let's have a go with this then.
put the glasses case in there just to give me some indication of where I want to be with it. sides are a slight touch too long maybe but don't maybe settle down there um, yeah there's probably still sufficient space down each side on the outside to uh, get maybe my tool roll on that side and not that I drink it but a bottle of water or a bottle of uh, juice or something down that side or any other items that you want to pack in but that's it certainly made more more use of the uh of the tag bag for me anyway okay just wait for the mesh so i can make use of the lid 